Hello everyone, this is Tony Embry. I have a Stamp It Up independent demonstrator and my studio is called Riverview Creative Studio. So tonight I wanted to um, share with you uh, some two new designs that I created today. I was playing around with an idea um, that I wanted to use letters and, uh, and stuff. So I created a card that I'll share with you. I created this card and it's it's with our, our cutout letters, which are the uh, large letter framelits. And um, so it is really pretty colorful. Uh, I did put a sentiment on the inside, but anyway. And then there's some stuff from our ornate uh, stuff. Anyway, so I, I did this rainbow card. I really liked it. And then um, I did this five by seven. Sorry, it's gonna be. I've got to put it down here so maybe you can see it without the glare. Um, it's a. It'll fit any five by seven frame, but uh, you don't need to put it inside a frame. I just put it inside a frame, so any five by seven frame it'll fit. So, anyway, so that was what I designed and created today. And then uh, I had it played with uh, our new uh, ornate garden suite, and it's brand new. And uh, you could order it now as a demonstrator, but you could also order it as a customer now. So. Uh, I was playing around that I wanted to do a design with it. So I decided that I would use the same design, uh, but I would just use uh, the suite and all the papers and, and everything that goes along with it. So this would is hugs as well. And so the paper, uh, and I'll, I'll go over all the stuff that's with it. And then here is the five by seven without um, being in a frame. So you can see it better without the glare. And this is uh, DSP, the, our designer series paper. And these colors uh, that we're gonna use tonight is we're gonna use the terracotta and we're gonna use early espresso. And we're gonna use some old olive and we're going to use some mint macron. And these colors are all in the new suite. And uh, so, and then we're gonna also use some memento. We're going to use some of these gilded gems that are, are part of the suite, if you order the suite. And we're gonna use this little daisy that comes from the Ornate Style Clay Set. And uh, that's just gonna be on the inside of our card. So I decided to put something in. So that's that. And then we're gonna use a sentiment that comes from the Ornate Thanks. And I'm just gonna use Seriously, My Friend. Because uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun. So it looks kind of scripty. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna stamp that inside, um, and so we're gonna be using pieces from the ornate um, border dies, and we're also from the ornate layer dies, and so I have done a little of the die um, work, die cutting work, but I thought I would uh, do some for you guys because it's creating the hugs up. You may or I may not notice, but this is a cutout of the letters, and then the letters that were in here I used to create the card. So there's no waste, so you could use it. So anyway, so I'm gonna put this aside and then we'll get into it. So I already uh, cut the card. And so I'm gonna put a little cheat sheet over here because I uh, sometimes forget or draw blanks. So anyway, for this project, um, you'll use the white uh, paper stock, the Whisper White. And so the card base is five and a half, five and a half high, and then uh, by eight and a half. And then we're gonna score it at four and a quarter inches. So that's that one. Then we uh, put everything in little uh, pieces because I've been losing stuff on my desktop. So anyway, we're gonna pull all this out. So these are two of the dies that we're gonna use, die cuts, and they come out of the, uh, the border dies. And so you could see, and I went ahead and, and did this one because it's a lot of die work. But anyway, you could see uh, that that is uh, what I used at the top and I used it at the bottom. I think I just turned it around, yep. And I just wanted to coordinate with whatever's here. So that's, that's that. And so I've already cut them out again. And this particular card is gonna be a little different than the previous one, just because. 
And uh, so here's the colors we're gonna use. Mint Macrod, Early Espresso, and Terracotta. There's another color, oh here it is. And the Old Olive. So these uh, four I cut out so we could put the letters on them and then I'll show you how we did that. So I, I created a template to make that a little bit easier. And so that the directions, I'll give all these directions at the bottom of the video, but the template is three and three quarters high by six inches wide. And that just is makes it easier for us to group these here. And then, uh, and then we'll cut them out as one piece. But anyway, that's, that's how it works. So I'll put these over here. I did, these are the letters we're gonna use for hugs. So put those there. I did, uh, this is going to be the uh, paper that I'm gonna use for the five by seven. I've already cut that and it's gonna be, uh, of course, seven inches wide and five inches high. And you can see it's pretty on the other side but uh, I just decided I would use the daisies tonight. And then uh, I've gone ahead and cut out this, which is from the ornate layers. And let's see how pretty it is. You can see that I still have some little pieces in there, but anyway, so this you could work, use either way, but uh, again, for my card, I'm using this uh, so that it coordinates with this. So I went ahead and cut that out because it's, uh, just save some time. Okay, uh, let's see. Put those over here and then we'll go ahead and I'll explain to you. Let me move this for a second. I have a host code here and I'll put this back in a minute so you can see it, but. Okay, so I was trying to figure out how I would, uh, how I would do this. So I decided that I would put all the papers here however you want. Arrange them however you like color-wise. So that's, doesn't have to be the same as mine. So I did it like this. I did, and then I, um, what did I do? I put tape. So I taped it here. I used some washi tape here just to hold it together. And here hold it together for what I'm going to do next. Okay, so then I could turn this over. This is the, why I had the template, because it's just a little bit easier for a video. And it doesn't have to be uh, perfect, for sure. So, H, U. It's not gonna be right, is it? H U. Oh, it's gonna have to be this way. Okay. H. How about spelling hugs? H U G. Uh, and you can. I mean, if you're. And earlier I did. I actually drew lines and made sure it was centered, but uh, I found out that you know it's pretty close, just with eyes eyeballing it. So I just gotta eyeball it this time to save time. So anyway, so I've got this here like this. So now uh, I could just secure these letters down with some tape, washi tape, right? And then we'll just not cut them. It'll be really cool. Okay, so washi washi. There's that. Oopsie, you gotta move on me, aren't you? Gotta create a problem for me. I could tell already, Mr. U. Okay, so that's that. Thank you for joining me tonight. I, uh, I did a, a live video earlier, but I didn't do something quite right, so it came out a little wonky, but I, uh, I'm in the process of fixing that. But I wanted to do this technique because I was so excited about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put another piece up here because that one is, I don't want it to shift on me when I'm cutting, die cutting. I'm sure you've experienced that before. Just gonna stick it down, okay. Okay, so these pieces individually uh, is is one and a half inches wide and three and three quarters inches high. Okay, so I just did that for four of them. Okay, so of course, if you do other words or whatever, then you'll, uh, you'll 
you know, you could just, that's just what I came up with anyway. So I'm going to put this odd here. You can see it hopefully. And then I'm going to put my top piece odd. Okay. So this is the die cutting. Sorry, it's going to shake. I don't normally do die cutting on my, on my videos for this reason. Oh, apologize for that. Make sure it's going to come out. Nope, that H didn't come out. So I'm going to run it back there again. It's a little wonky, but I'm doing it. Do our guys shake, 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 shake. Okay, all done with that. Now it should be, should be okay. Okay, I'll move the scissors out of the way. Okay, thank you for dealing with that. Okay, let's see. I'll take this off. There's probably other ways of uh, of doing this whole lettering thing, but this was by way of doing it and you know there's there, I'm sure there's lots of ways of doing things but I'm not really worried about that so much the paper uh, pulling because I'm going to put uh, some other stuff over top of it so it'll be okay and hopefully you won't be able to notice it I don't know why this washi tape maybe it's old it uh it pulls a little bit anyway it's not cooperating with me Anyway, so when you get this wood, when you get all this done, then you have uh, the piece, the hugs for the card, and you have the hugs for the 5 by 7 I was going to do, uh, I wanted to do uh, this on the card differently, but uh, because it's so wide, I wasn't able to make that happen. So that's how I came up with this design. Okay. Well, there's a will, there's a way. I will just keep trying. Okay. Let's get rid of all this washy, washy, washy tape that's just in the way. Okay. Okay, so Mr. Hug, you could go over here. Get those out of the way. We're done with that. So you could see now that... Um, pop the G out. Okay, so this is what we use for our 5 by 7 and I don't take this tape off uh, of the back because it holds it together. I'm just going to this washi tape, so I'm just going to glue it all just like this. So this is how it looks. So I'm going to now take this paper and we'll glue it down out right here. So for this, uh, I just measured see about like a half inch I think half inch here the half inch there so I'm gonna just I've got a pencil and um, I'm just going to uh, make a couple little marks here because then I'll erase it because it won't really show up anyway and then I just rub this little right across here So go here. Okay. Now I'll glue this. I just use uh, the top of glue, which is amazing. I love it. Okay. So then you could use other adhesives. I just, right now, I'm just really, I like to have the extra time to uh, adhere this down. So I use, I prefer to use Tabo most of the time. Because I, uh, Sometimes don't get things straight first time. So it gives me, in theory, a little bit more time to do it. Hope you're inspired by this to do something too. It's really fun. This time we can't give uh, hugs in person. If I'm really a you know, you know I like to give hugs. And so uh, right now we can't do that. So I'm gonna, I've been sending virtual hugs. I've been sending cards with hugs on them. And 
Eggs. Oh, okay. Go down there. So we have this now. Okay. So the next thing is decide what we want to put this here and this one here. Sometimes I like to put the heavier color at the bottom, but let's see. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so it's just a glue deal. Aren't these uh, aren't these dyes beautiful? I have so many ideas of things that I want to make, and this is the first day that I played with this because I I was doing some Easter stuff and and everything. So this is the first day that I had it. We were uh, making, helping to make some, uh, cut out some fabric so that uh, some people could make, uh, could make masks for some of the medical community. So last couple days we've been doing that, which is really fun. And this is the first day I've been in my studio this week. So there's that. Then we're going to do the same thing with this. I think I want to do, you know, some people do the home and then they do the different things. I want, I, I want to do that. And I want to use this ornate set for it. I just think it's really pretty. This reminds me uh, of the colors that we had back in the, like the 70s, you know. Uh, we had all these like colors like, like this. I mean, we had... Uh, the browns or the the greens and we had avocado we had all these uh more looking colors that uh in the 70s and in our homes we turn this around put it this way what do you think i like it okay looks cool so i could really put um i couldn't really put a bow out here because of the kind of frame that i have is uh is the it's the glasses like right up against it so I, I did i get a different frame so i thought maybe i would just put a bow on the outside of it if i feel like it i need to do that so here is the wood that i did earlier and so you can see that i kind of mixed up the letters in different order quite back it so now that's all done and then you know just let it dry you could add some bling to it uh, or, you know, whatever, it depends on what you're going to put in it. Uh, you could uh, mount it on something and uh, use it for, for whatever. You could put it in a frame or uh, it just is too big for one of our regular cards. So I'm going to set that aside and we will uh, start working on our card. We get something in. Okay, so there's that. And there's my card base. Okay. So for this wood, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and stamp the daisy and the sentiment on the inside while we're here. And, uh, so this is a sentiment. It's just a little. It just says seriously, my friend. Put that here. So I wanted to use something from the suite, and so that's why I decided to use that one. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to use one of these colors for the flower. What color am I going to use? I, earlier I used this terracotta. I'll use terracotta again. I like terracotta, and um, I mean it's just a different. We've been use, I've been using a lot of pastels lately, so it's kind of nice to use something different. Okay, so here, try not to get this ink anywhere else. That's a cute little daisy. Oh, you, you could do it in, uh, in the memento and then you could color the daisy if you wanted, but I, tonight, I'm doing it this way. You saw I got a little bit of boo-boo there, but that's okay. Okay. So this, I already gave you the size of this card. So we're gonna let that dry for a minute. And in the meantime, I need to cut something, I think. Let's see, what did I do? I've got that, but I need a piece of paper. I don't think I cut it, did I? I 
had terracotta before. So it was four by four by five and a quarter. So um, I'm gonna bring my cutter over and do that right now. Four by five and a quarter. So this time I will use mint macrot, I think. What's that color gonna be? Yep. So I need four by five and a quarter, so I'll do four and five and a quarter. Sorry, I thought I had all this stuff cut out, but hey, there's one thing. So those of you who haven't seen how to cut, there we go. Okay, so now that should be dry. And then on the front, we're gonna put this right there. <laughs> I did it wrong. Oh well, don't worry about it. How did I do it? How did I do it over here? Yep, I did it right on this card, see? I'll just use, later on, I'll just take a piece of white and put it there and re, and re stamp it, no biggie. You know that I'm human now that I made a mistake on camera. Okay, so here we go. And this is bit by crod, and it's five and a quarter by four wide, five and a quarter high. So I'm really doing this card in like a landscape version. I often don't do landscape cards, so that's probably, that's my excuse. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to stick this on here. Get some glue. And you'll notice I've only glued with the center. I'm not gonna glue the edge because I kind of like the way it, it's kind of loosey. Maybe if it was humid, maybe it'll, it might curl up or something, but I love these daisies. I love this yellow and green. These colors are so beautiful. And you see this color looks, I mean, look at that. They look, they're beautiful, but they're two totally different cards. Okay, so the other thing on here, you'll notice that I decided just to do the uh, the letter's a little bit random, because uh, I kind of like it casual. Hugs are kind of casual, right? Okay, so that's, so we're going to do, and I, I put these on with the digitals, and I use the, the widow ones. Where are they? I stuck them back in here, I know. Maybe not. Maybe they're still on my desktop. Lord help me if they're on my desktop. I may never find them. Okay. Uh, are you hiding? Okay, oh, I've got plenty of them. I just have to find them. There they are, little ones. Okay, so uh, I like the well. The you could use the larger ones and just cut them, which I'm gonna have to cut some of these, but because some of the letters are kind of narrow, but for the most part, they these are okay. So I just put one here. I've got glue on my fingers right now, so I don't want to stop it and get the glue off. But uh, this is these little things from, they're gonna be all stuck to my fingers, watch. That's the only thing. So I get them stuck everywhere. But they're really, really nice because they pop everything up and I, <laughs> Throw my fingers. I can't go. Okay, so you could do this however you like. I just kind of randomly stick them on how I like them. I really like the colors though. Okay, so this one I'm going to have to cut a little bit smaller ones. I can do it like this, but sometimes that works better. I have a I'll do a blog entry on this, and uh, at the end of the video, when I upload it, I will uh, I'll put the measurements and stuff out there for you, so you could, those of you who want to make it, and uh, that uh, if you make it, I would appreciate you use by design. If you case it, I would appreciate you uh, give it me credit, and uh, also posting a picture of your creations because I really like to see what you. What you've, what 
you created with it. There's just so many. We have so many amazing papers and color combinations. I could just see this done with lots of different things. I, I'm going to be doing it some more, so, but I wanted to go ahead and do the video on this one because, because I really like it. And I feel like I've been, you know, loafing the last couple days. I haven't been, but I just kind of feel like I haven't been in my studio working when I should be, because it's good for my, good for my uh, creativity. I like to be able to think about something other than what's going on. It's so sad about everything that's happening in the world, but that's why I've been making cards and sending them out to people. Because you know, we go to church, I can see people and catch up with them and, and stuff. I'm not really a big person to talk on the phone. I'm not really a phone person. For one thing, I have this um, allergy issue that makes me seem like I'm uh, I'm sick, but I'm not really sick. I just I feel fine. It's just I talk funny. And those of you who have known me for a long time, you know that I don't sound like this most of the time. But I have been sounding like this for probably a year now. And I was supposed to go see the... I know, I've been to two EETs, so I was supposed to go see a surgeon. But of course, COVID and people are, you know, definitely, this is what I have is not, you know, not life-threatening. So it doesn't need to happen. And so I'll, whatever this is over, I'll go and uh, see if he can do anything to help he or she. I'm not sure. I haven't met him yet. Okay, so got to put the hug there. I love these two greeds. And the terracotta, is that pretty? Okay, so then I like early espresso too. I use that. Use that a lot in the fall, but I was excited to get it out. I haven't honestly been using it because, you know, it's spriggy. Christmas, we don't use early espresso, anything. And uh, fall, you could use, you know, for trees and all kinds of stuff, really cool stuff. And then Halloween, and, which you know will be here before you know it. I can't believe that we're halfway through April. Okay. So, here's the last letter. This is amazing. It's so fun. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. It's just really fun. And if, if you... Uh, have an opportunity go and uh, like and subscribe and you won't get tons and tons of notifications and you won't get commercials and you won't get like ads for things because I don't have any of that stuff going on on my page but I would really like to grow my uh, uh, my subscribers because I have to get to a certain account a certain amount of them before I could actually have a full-fledged account so that would be nice if you guys would be so kind to me anyway so this is the hugs one and then, um, again, here goes this one. Isn't that cool? And then I'll just go and put another piece of white here and stamp it correctly. Because I'd hate to send this and then go, okay, what was Tony doing? And so, okay, so for this one, for the card, I'm going to do, uh, uh, I'm going to do, we have some cool ribbons I'll show you. So we have terracotta ribbon, which is what I used. Uh, I haven't used it yet. I used the, uh, the greed. This is the olive green, I think. And I, I used this one. And then uh, earlier on this, on this card. And then uh, we have this one here, which is really pretty. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to use this one this time. This one here. So I have my handy dandy bow maker, which is, it comes in handy. I mean, I used to make them. So you can get it from uh, tatabobits.com. And they're about $10. I did whatever the shipping is for it. So, if I could do it, you could do it. I'm telling you, this this really makes a huge difference in making bows. Especially with me, sometimes I'm like all thubs. And these things are so small, I don't think my fingers are that big, but sometimes it just seems like I can't get this. When I'm making them, you know, without this, before this, it was just a pain. This is really thick rivet, but wide rivet, but I think it'll be pretty on this card anyway. I love the colors. Okay, it's kind of it's kind of fallish looking, but as this particular set's going to be out, you can, like I said, you could purchase it now as a customer uh, demo, as well. And uh, I have a host code which I'll share with you. So if you want to go to my website and order for me, that would be wonderful.
and uh, or you can email me and tell me how you like the project, if you have any questions. And uh, I'm going to be doing a, a uh, blog post on this particular card as well. And uh, so I will have uh, all the directions and everything on it. And then I'm gonna, I wanted to have a video to go with it. So, so I used the glue dots to put it down. It's kind of heavy, so I'll try to. Anyway, so uh, I, I don't know. I kind of like that spot right there. That's what I did on the other card. How's that? Looks good. Well, I really thank you guys for joining me. And uh, here, I will put back here. So this is um, where you could go to order. Uh, and he, there's this is the host code. So when you go into order, if you put this host code in, it's uh, it's for party, but uh, it'll be um, it'll be good for a uh, prize. So put that in, and then uh, so it's JQQ4GFEN. And you'll put that in when you're ordering. And then you could email me here at uh, suit I'll have by riverviewcreativestudio.com. And I'm uh, working on that, but it's not, it's not ready for prime time yet. It's getting there. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. And God bless. Good night.